Today's video is brought to you by Lumen Skin and ExpressVPN. Maybe look good this episode, Scott. I have low hopes for you too. You have low, low hopes? Low hopes! I'm gonna call this one the Janice Thicky Ward quiz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question one. <laughs> I'd say what's Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Frit! You know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. Brother, and welcome everyone to another episode of J versus Ben, where today we are only being asked questions to which previously we have missed the answers. Both of us have missed it? Both of us, so So it means yeah. you also got it wrong. And you got it wrong. Well, that's not, it's, it's lower hanging fruit for me to get it wrong. Let's do this. Guys, in case you are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our younger brother Tyler is on the other side of the camera and he's waving right now, but you can't see him, but he is doing it. Uh, he's going to be reading us the 15 questions that we have previously gotten wrong, plus one bonus quiz master question from a member of our Patreon. Right, and the way it's gonna work is Ben and I have to remember the answers from memory, which obviously we couldn't do the first time, so I'm not loving our odds this time. But if we both agree, that we don't know at all, we can get the multiple choice from Tyler. If you would like to play along with us, we've also recreated this quiz on a Survey Monkey, and you can click that link in the description down below. Totally check it out. Yeah. I have all sorts of trivia to go along with my questions on this quiz. Oh, You're not boy. even ready. It's like, did well, you'll see. You'll <laughs> see. <laughs> Question one. Where did the Dumbledore family live before moving to Godric's Hollow? Oh, um, I think I actually know this one. When you got this one wrong, Beth was the quiz master. Really? really? Yeah. I don't remember that ever, but apparently I just don't remember these quizzes. Apparently. <laughs> no, this is a thing when you write these videos as well, people will be like, yeah, you said in your blank video about like whatever, and I'll be like, I really wish I knew my own content better. <laughs> it really, like, honestly, it makes me, it makes me feel like authors who are are questioned about something like very specific, the ability to give any answer at all to me is remarkable. It is, like, because wow. Like, the man. fans have, might have read it harder than you wrote it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that is possible. Mm -hmm. I think that is possible. Oh man, you know what? I feel like I maybe have this ever so slightly wrong. There's a very specific answer. Three, two, one. Mold on the wall. Mold on the wall. Okay, that is incorrect. What? Is it mold on the walled? Yes. Uh, Man, I literally just changed it from that. that Man, is malarkey. It is not malarkey because the reason it is mold on the walled and not mold on the wall is because <laughs> that is what Ben put last time oh, and it was counted so you incorrect. It, you got it very, okay. Well, you got so, it equally wrong. So I learned and you didn't is what I'm hearing. That's like a, uh, like a brownie point for me. No, it's not. This is like one of those things where it's like mold on the walled. Like yeah. is walled a word? I think this is a dialect thing. We can find out. I have no, it's so far. Fine. It's, fine. it's fine. Question two. <laughs> Question two. What number is Harry's vault at the Gringotts Wizarding Bank? Oh my goodness. But, yeah, I mean, I like, think, I feel like this is the vault number for the Philosopher's Stone is what my mind went to. Mm. And then I'm also being confused by the number that I store in my brain for how many staircases there are at Hogwarts. Uh, which I do, I do think I know because I have a way to remember it. Man, I know this is the wrong vault. I know, you'd think this would be like a number that actually bore some significance in some way that was like, oh, I see why she chose that number. Right. But it seems like it's not. Do you want to go multiple choice on it? I might get it if I go multiple choice. So. Uh, okay, we'll okay. do it. We'll All right, it. question two. Ty, go ahead. Multiple choice is it is it A, 627, B, 687, C, 611, or D, 713? Okay. This is so infuriating. I know. Okay. Okay. I made my choice. I was wrong the first time. I'll tell you that. Wrong, 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 wrong. All right. Three, two, yeah. one. I said A. I also said A. <clears throat> you are also both wrong. Oh! <laughs> It is 687. Oh! I had 137, which is why I was like, okay, so probably a seven. And then 713 is the Sorcerer's Stone Ball. Yes, yeah, so that's what I had right. written first. And so. I think, so 137 is just those three numbers again in a different order. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Ah, that's kind of funny. Yeah. In the past, Ben, you said 312 and Jonathan 492. 492 literally came to my mind. Really? Why is that? Maybe it's because I said it last time and you like, it like lodged a... Maybe it, it's like a- I it's like a into you. Yeah, maybe it's like a crumpled up piece of paper in the waste basket next to my brain desk. Right, like you threw it out, but you haven't like right-clicked empty trash bin. Hold on, I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah. 
Question three. Which educational decree instituted by Umbridge prohibits students from possessing the quibbler? This is malarkey. The answer is not malarkey. Oh, man. How do you even spell malarkey? M-A-L-A-R-K-E-Y. That was so fast. Hey, spelling bee runner up three years in a row. Okay? Really? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. 29. I said 26. Ooh, you are both wrong again! Oh, wow! Educational degree 27! Oh. <laughs> you did get closer, Ben Jam. Last time you said seven. So. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. okay. I, will, I will say that, yeah, that hmm. was a much What more... did I say last time? 25. Uh, huh. You were equally wrong. Equally wrong. I overshot it in both directions. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing. Man. But the third time we do this, you got it. I got it. I'm going to be straight down the middle. Question four. In Goblet of Fire, what color socks does Ron get for Christmas from his mum? Why is this a question? I hate gift questions. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna hate all of these questions because they're all the ones we they're get all wrong. Ones we get wrong. Like, what did Hermione get Hagrid in Order of the Phoenix for his half birthday? <laughs> his half birthday. You know how much Hagrid loves celebrating his half birthday because he's a half giant. Yeah, exactly. 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 All things half. Half the amount of half and half into his coffee. Oh, he's a quarter man. <laughs> well, you know, more of a half man. But... <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yellow. I said maroon. So this is an interesting one. So the answer is violet. Oh! oh we are so four. bad! Over, you guys don't grow at all. But <laughs> Ben Jam, you answered maroon, which was Jonathan's answer last time. Oh. And your answer last time was a variety of yellow. It was mustard. Uh, wow, so look, look, we swapped. We swapped. We swapped these. Violet. Violet. That's such a terrible color for socks. It's, it's like this running joke that Mrs. Weasley only gets Ron colors to wear that clash with his hair. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like everything is like shades of red. <laughs> right. Like, which goes better with red than other red. Yeah. Question five. Yeah. And last time you did get the multiple choice on this one, so let me know. Okay. Uh, which ingredient did Harry forget to add to his draft of peace, much to Snape's enjoyment? It's written on the chalkboard. Yeah. And he like makes Harry read it. Yeah. And then Harry's like, Oh no, I did forget. I think I've got it right. I'm just trying to decide if I put too much. I would go multiple choice again, apparently. No, I'm not going to. No? Ooh. I think I have a, I think I, I think I've got a guess. I'm trying to decide if I should just erase some of this. I, you know, I'm going with it. You're gonna stick with it? Man, I need to take mm -hmm. a really what am I? I'm gonna do this. Alright. Three, yeah. two, one. Hellebore. Oh, hellebore does sound right. I said powdered bicorn. Jay, can you give me any more specific. essence of hellebore no 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 uh it is syrup of hellebore that is that is come on okay will, okay right okay. I, would, I would give that to you okay, okay but here's the other answers and let me know how you feel we'll, we'll we'll put it to a vote last time jonathan said essence of dittany and then the answer you guys didn't use was dash of leech juice and ben said powdered moonstone oh wow so essence <laughs> and powdered are specifically not syrup i think this counts Come on. I, I think I think you've got Hellebore, which yeah. to me counts. Also, uh, I would love for there to be a point on the board. Yeah. Okay, fine. For Jay us. Gets the point. For us. For us. This is almost a team effort now. <laughs> Goodness. There we go. Can we break five collectively? No. <laughs> no. Is it going to get worse? <laughs> oh, we'll see. Oh, the agony right now. I know. Question six. How did Lupin hold his old suitcase together? How specific? Uh, pretty specific. I would get multiple choice, unless you got it. I feel like, I don't know, I mean... I mean, I have a guess. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So spell a tape. With string. The correct answer is neatly knotted string. Oh. So that goes to Ben, I'll give you neatly the point. Knotted. This is one of those things where it's like, why can't, why doesn't Repero work on the suitcase? Because. Lupin wouldn't do that. What do you mean? He's a wizard. I don't get it. I don't get stuff like this. <laughs> well, I know. I, this is the thing, and you're right, like, because this is always an issue with Lupin is that, like, he's always, like, his robes are always torn. He's always looking, like, really shabby and stuff, but he's also, like, a super talented wizard. Yeah. That, like, it would, it would not seem to me that it would be beyond his scope to be able to fix those things. Yeah. But maybe, maybe it's just like anything else where it's like, could you repair your own clothing even though sewing is a skill that would be common amongst people? Uh, I mean, I could not. I mean, I guess there's like household magic that like Tonks that she's not very good at. Sure. Like, okay, my, 
something with a flick of the wrist to get the socks to fold themselves or something. But so that's the thing. So like in education, you may even have a class where you specifically do it, but it may not mean that forever and always, you know how they have like, you think they have like home ec at Hogwarts? It's, I mean, maybe. Home, home I'm, <laughs> maybe. That's my thinking on it. Like, I couldn't tell you a whole lot about the Byzantine Empire. Yeah. But I was taught an enormous amount about the Byzantine Empire. Yeah. And therefore, that's why he can't fix his robes. Conclusion. Question seven. <clears throat> Who complimented Harry's nice dog on platform nine and three quarters? Uh, there is, I have like the same feeling of worry that I did the exact same thing last time we got this question because I think it could be this. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I might've had a brain blast here. Oh man, I'm like, I'm split literally right down the middle right now. I have like four answers in my head. I have like two sets of answers. And both of them, I'm like coin flipping on. Did you figure it out? I think I might have gotten it. Maybe you've got it. <sighs> okay. 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 I'm going with this. I'm sticking with it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm literally changing. I'm so nervous. I'm changing from my original answer we, to my second These are so answer. hard. I know. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said Lee Jordan. Oh my gosh. That's what I had. Oh, I, said Lee Jordan. I had Malfoy first. The correct answer is Lee Jordan. No, Lee Ten Jordan. points to Gryffindor. No, 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 it's Lee Jordan. Oh. Yes! Sweet victory! No! Oh At first I was like, is it Draco or Lucius? Because he's like, what was that comment about? Do they know about Sirius? That's exactly. And then, but then I was like, no, no, it's Dean or Seamus. And it's like, it's like a friendly thing and they're really complimenting him. And then, then I brain blasted and I was like, it's none of them! Man, I, I had Lee Jordan. I wrote it right away. I had too much time to think. Oh. Golly gosh! All right. So well now is it two nothing? Now it's, no, it's two one because you got the string, right? Yeah, oh. then got the string. Yeah. Two to one, okay. Two to one, I'm seven in. questions in. Yeah. Oh not yeah, bad. not bad. Flying. <laughs> Guys, we need to take a brief pause to give a huge thank you to today's sponsors, ExpressVPN and LumenSkin. Let me ask you a question. When you go to the bathroom, you always close the door, right? Right? Okay, good. Like, you don't wanna just have a random passerby be like, oh, hey, you know, just, dropping in, looking in on you. So why would you let people do that while you're on the internet? Here's the thing, using the internet without ExpressVPN is basically like using the bathroom with the door wide open on the internet. And this isn't just when you're out in the wild. This can be happening while you're at home by yourself. Your internet service provider can still collect information about everything you're doing online and then sell that information to ad companies that can then target you. But ExpressVPN solves that problem by creating a tunnel between your device and the internet so you can safely search online without anybody knowing what you're doing. And it works on all devices, phones, laptops, even a router. So even people who are on your network that don't have ExpressVPN can still be protected. So if you'd like to shut the bathroom door on your internet service provider and get three months of ExpressVPN for free, just head on over to expressvpn.com slash J versus B. Again, that is expressvpn.com slash J versus B. Link in the description down below. All right, come on, my turn. Enough of your potty humor, get out of here. <laughs> Leave this guy. Today's video was also brought to you by Lumen Skin. I mean, come on. Can you tell why we chose me to do this one instead of Ben, right? Right? Now look, it's not like I don't care about my skin. It's just that I often have no idea what I am doing. My wife, on the other hand, she has like regimes, serums, lotions, sand, paste, charcoal? I, I am at least 100% sure that a percentage of those things are things. But great news, Lumen Skin eliminates all of the guesswork from whatever it is you're doing to your face. They just deliver you great high quality products right to your door. Their products are formulated specifically for men's skin with top notch ingredients like charcoal. Ooh, charcoal. Yes, I was right. Uh, green tea and vitamin C. Green tea extract. For real though, I've actually been using these things for like a month. Personally, I love the charcoal cleanser. It foams up real nice on your face and just leaves you feeling nice and sparkling clean. If you guys want to check it out, you can head over to Lumen Skin dot com slash super for a one month free trial again that is lumenskin.com slash super for a one month free trial link is in the description down below and now back to the quiz question eight who casts the fiend fire curse oh no 
I feel I feel good. Three, mm. two, one. Crab Goyle. Ooh, it is Crab. Yes! No, it is it, not. Yes, it, it is. is Goyle in the movie because they had the actor change. Well, you both said Goyle last time, so. Wow, man. I'm so infuriated that I'm so consistently wrong for the same reason. Ugh. Ugh. Well, even when you loaded. turned, I was like, ha, that's hilarious. Crab, as <laughs> if. <laughs> Question nine. How did Dobby wake Harry on the night his bones were regrowing? I probably answered this exact same thing last time. I don't know, because I can't see what you just wrote. Uh, so no. I wish you could. I, it would be even funnier, although then you would have you would give us visual cues as to how close we were. I lack expression entirely, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm in complete control of my face. When, at when, all when times. people describe me, it's stoic. Hey, quick, be expressionless. <laughs> Bob. Bob. Oh, yeah. Happy one year anniversary, by the way, Bob. Yeah. Happy one year. Three, two, one. So it's apparating onto his chest. So it's sponging his forehead. The correct answer is. Sponging Harry's forehead! Yes! Are you kidding me? No! Well, pretty good, Ben. 32! Excellent! Pretty, pretty, look, that's more than five between us. No, it's exactly five. It's exactly. Us. Okay. Good math, so. I can, it's bad. Whew, no math budget this week, y'all. <laughs> Question 10. In Goblet of Fire, what was the first thing Voldemort said when he had risen again? I feel like I remember this one because it stuck out to us so much. Yeah. I right. mean, I have something written down that I okay. felt like is the right answer. Okay, okay, ready? Let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. Click, don't think. Hold on. No, what? Right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Robe me. Robe me. I gotta do my best Ray Fines. Hold on. Robe me. That is correct. Yay! Yes. Yay! That was pretty good, by the way. I don't think he says that in the movie, though. I do not think he says it in the movie. Yeah. Uh, last time you said, where is my wand? And Jay said, Wormtail, my wand. Oh, wow. So we're exactly on the same. He, we were. I don't know if he said Wormtail after Robe Me, but his first two words were Robe Me. So you get the point. Fantastic. Now, now we've got at least five points between us. <laughs> Hand drawn high five. How's yours look? Pretty much like that. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Query 11. What color sparks does Hagrid instruct Harry, Neville, Hermione, and Malfoy to send up if they find the injured unicorn in the forest? It feels like it should be obvious. Are we spelling color like C-O-L-O-U-R? Actually, no. No. Not in this question. From the hardest forbidden forest quiz ever, color is the American spelling. Okay, just for, I mean, just for, so the people at home know, I mean, this would seem like the obvious answer to me, which makes me think that it is Incorrect completely. Classic Ben test taking though, am I right? Classic Ben test taking. Okay. What's the obvious right answer? That's not it. <laughs> Rule that out Not the Byzantine now. Empire. <laughs> it's never the Byzantine Empire. I think I have an answer. Me too. Three, two, one. Red. I said green. Well, here we go. You went in cursive too. Oh. All right. I, I I wrote red as like the obviously it should mm -hmm. be red mm -hmm. because I think I'm pretty sure it's red sparks and Goblet of Fire in the maze. So yeah. it should be red sparks. It should be red sparks, but it's not. It could be like silver or gold or something too. It could be. It could be green. Silver, something so and it like, could have been like red sparks if you're in trouble, green if you find the unicorn. That was my worst Hagrid impression ever. But. No, I thought it was dead on. Oh, okay. I was like, wow, he's in the room with us. Ooh. Okay, go ahead. Tell us what it is. The correct answer is green. Yes! Yes! Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so pleased. I'm so, so pleased. Why would they be green? Symbology. Question 12. What entertainment was Dumbledore rumored to have booked for the Halloween feast in Harry's second year? I didn't know this was a thing. Do you have the answer? I have a guess. I don't know why I think this is it. Okay, I'm gonna stick with it. I don't think this is, I think it's close. It doesn't feel right. Okay. Three, two, one. Dancing skeletons. I said a band of skeletons. I like where your head's at because they were at like a ghost party. So like obviously would a ghost not have Skeletones. That would sound like a skeleton band. That'd be a great name for a skeleton. Skeletons. Yeah, the that skeletons. would be really yeah. good. Man, Trademark. that'd be good. I know. Anyway, it's Dancing Skeletons. Yes! Oh, the lead is back! Every point feels like a real victory. Question 13. Which dragon breed has black scales and purple eyes? Ben's eyes went from like full of hope and joy to like completely drained. This is a Fantastic Beasts question. Yes, Like this is. is not in the Specifically, books. it is a Fantastic Beasts question. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have to guess. I'm just gonna have to guess. This is, cause it's not that, and it's not. Can't be that either. Can't be that. I mean, yeah. I have the exact same thought. Right, it's not them, and it's not that, so. I'm just trying to remember other dragons. I don't even sure this is a real one. I said the Peruvian Viper Tooth. <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah, I, I think so. It, we have the book right there. Could, wow, it's literally <laughs> sitting right next to us. Um, 
I said Ukrainian iron belly. Ben, your answer did not change, so it is wrong. Oh. But it is one of the multiple choice answers. I'll take that. And you didn't use multiple choice last time, so that's something. <laughs> uh, but the correct answer is Hebridean black. Oh, Hebridean black. I feel like that's pretty close. Can we look up if Peruvian viper tooth is even a dragon? Hang on one second. We surely can. All right. It's literally. It's right here. Right here. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> oh wait. I think I just saw it. Peruvian viper tooth. Wow, it does exist. He wasn't wrong. But he was wrong. Well, oh, no, it, it was wrong, wrong but, it, but like, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, Congratulations. Wow. Way to know something that was not the correct answer, but is in fact a real thing. Question 14, and this is from the films, the ultimate Harry Potter movie trivia quiz. Oh, oh dear. It will be abundantly clear. It's from the films when I read the question. What is the final line of the final film? Do you want to know what the final scene is? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is right at all. My okay. gosh. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So they'll be all right, won't they? Then Slytherin House will have gained a great new member. The correct answer is five letters long. So you're both wrong. Okay. Ready. Ready? Yep. That is the final line of the final film. What? Ready? My gosh. What a, what a lousy question. Man, I, I was like, remember. I don't, I don't even them. feel bad. Oh, anyway. There we go. Final question. Question 15. This is from the J vs. Ben Ultimate Harry Potter Dark Arts Quiz. Okay. Which finger is Peter Pettigrew missing? This is frustrating because this is like multiple choice wouldn't even help here. I know. It's like. It's not going to be like his index finger, his elbow. Right. Yeah, his yeah. nose or his ear. Well, I'm still not confident, but we'll see. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said his ring finger. I said his pinky. See, I, there's no way we didn't guess pinky last time though. Is there no way? I thought there was no way we guessed pinky last time. This is so funny. Okay. So. Because I thought last, for sure it's pinky. Last time, Benjamin guessed ring finger. And Jonathan guessed pinky. No! <laughs> it's his Come index on! finger. It's his index finger. Ah! I was like, I, Oma, I'm like, my argument against ring finger was like, I don't think. Rats don't have ring fingers. But he's not a normal rat. Index finger. Man, if you're going to cut off a finger I don't know, don't for, for theatrics, the use like. You, right? Go for the pinky. Go for one that's less useful. I don't know. You need. You need this one, man. Anyway. Right. Okay, well, are we just we just had the Patreon Quizmaster question of the game? Yes! I gotta do my voice. Hold on. <laughs> A huge thank you to Hope and Sukraj from our Discord server for helping compile all the wrong answers from the quizzes, as well as a huge thank you to all of our Quizmaster patrons. Now for the final Quizmaster question. A question on the quiz itself. How many total Incorrect questions did Ben and Jay get across the 38 Harry Potter non-Quizmaster, only Pottermore quizzes? Whoa. Are we doing closest to the closest to the mark or do we have to be accurate? What's the are you tied or are you in the lead? I'm in the lead. <laughs> so I mean accurate seems like it's gonna be better for me. But Okay. But it right. seems impossible that we would have any way to guess this. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna I'm taking a stab clean in the dark. All right. You ready? I don't know. I'll, let me see the answers and then I'll, we'll go from there. Well, Three. now, come on. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. I said 140. Oh, I said 33. Jay is way closer, but still very short. Uh, the correct answer is 180. Oh. Wow. I was thinking, uh, really what I was thinking was just the likelihood that we both got it wrong would seem like a lower number. Well, it was 38 quizzes though. So I was like, if even if we only got, oh, let's if we point. both yeah. missed three, on all quizzes. Wow. Yeah, so that, I didn't even have a good educated guess. Yeah. People at home are like, Ben, stop, man. Stop. Well, so just for some bonus statistics, <clears throat> uh, Ben, you are obviously- uh, Obviously. Uh, obviously. Thank, thank you for that Freudian slip. <laughs> you, are, you are wrong twice as often. Uh, <laughs> Jay, that situation has happened 156 times, which means Jonathan has been wrong. Ben right 78 times. Uh, okay. You've both been wrong 180 times. You, Ben, total have gotten 336 wrong, and Jonathan, you have gotten 258 wrong. So there's, wait, so there's how many occasions where Ben is right and I'm wrong? 78. And how many where I'm right and Ben's wrong? 156. Oh, man. So exactly <laughs> twice really as often. Did you really not know, or did you just want to like really double down on that? <laughs> wait, could you say it again? No. no. <laughs> Guys, oh, I'm man. trying my best. <laughs> And then the total incorrect where either of you is wrong is 414. What we really need is to start new seasons of Jay versus Ben mm. so that it can be like, oh man, this season Ben is really on his game. He's Welcome. clearly oh, like yeah. rereading. Yeah. Yeah. We need to like divide man. the statistics up into Maybe like, we should do seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, so then you could have like individual winners, but you could have like a season leaderboard. And we could have a cup. Oh, a cup. 
Yeah, like a and trophy. We, like, and we like put like our names on it. Yes. You know? Yeah, 50 50 shot, sort of, of winning. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Sounds more like a 25 75 shot yeah. of winning. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. How did you do? Was that ridiculously hard or were you just like, I'm totally cakewalking it? Let us know in the towel section down below. Going to be really impressed if anyone got a 100 on that one because those were hard. Those but were. if you would like to see uh, more J versus Ben from us, you can check out this playlist right here or if you'd like to hear more of Tyler's voice you can check out his podcast Bacon and Eggs a movie lover's podcast right here but until next time bye, bye.